Go to World Market and get their clothes World Market. Out. I was just talking about World Cost Market. Cost plus. Co- yeah, Me and Market. George were just talking about this yeah. shit. Dude. World they, Market's they great because it's, like it's like you can't get fat because it's candy's too expensive. Right. Yeah, it's like it's, <laughs> yeah. you feel fucking this fancy. This is what an Indian peasant would mm-hmm. eat, and I'm paying billions of dollars <laughs> yeah. for it. This is the candy they ate on the Nina, the Pinta, and the I Santa used to Marina. love stealing from World Market. Yeah. Just walking around putting candy in my mouth. I bet they didn't suspect you at all. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. it was a rush the first time I stole Just candy. Yeah. Yeah. From shouts out to the, ironically uh, a man that looks like a globe patronizing <laughs> the world market. First of all, I was a little fat <laughs> child. I wasn't this round. Yeah, I was cute though. Yeah, you ever Just at Stav on the Halloween, the, op- the people opening doors, no matter what his costume is, but being like, "Are you a bowling ball? <laughs> <laughs> no. What are you a glow? <laughs> no. Why would they say that? Oh, oh I, a princess, I great, a skeleton, I had and great. a scary circle. No, <laughs> Aladdin. Okay, Hercules. And the Muslim circle. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, a clown. I was the Pillsbury Doughboy one year. To oh. great effect. Wow, that's a good one for a fatty. It is. You lean into it and you crush <laughs> it. And you crush Halloween. Mm-hmm. You were that self-aware? So that Absolutely, dude. Wow. Yeah. Pillsbury Doughboy, that was my thing. <laughs> I would go, hoo-hoo, even before. That's how it started. Whenever whenever anybody... He doesn't say who he He goes, mm-mm. No, he no, does, he goes, woo-hoo. He goes, mm-mm. No, it's not no right. he doesn't, dude. He goes, mm-hmm. You press his fucking tummy. What is that? You eating the Pillsbury <laughs> Doughboy's pussy? Yeah. I never... No, it's Meryl Howard Kalen. I was trying to remember where that noise was from, and it's Meryl Howard Kalen. I don't that? know who that is. He's the retarded guy that had the cooking show in 1992 oh, yeah. on public access oh, television. Yes, that's right. Welcome! He would just combine jars To the Meryl Howard Kalen show! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was a rumor online that he died of salmonella, <laughs> and then that was not true. And then, and then, but then eventually he did die after he found internet fame. Because the v- original video is from like the early 90s. Right, public access. It right? was some guy who would have been a, a star online. If only. He's if born only, 10 years too yeah. early. I have so much respect for those Gen X guys that just were like making VHS tapes of shit. Right. Mm. For just, no one. Yeah, just cultural detritus that they were keeping around in their fucking like, yep. you know, in a, in a shoe box somewhere. They were doing it for the love of the game. They weren't clout chasing. They were right. VHS boys. Yeah, the TV Carnage guy and the fucking the found found footage festival. Is that what the? Is that? Yeah, it? yeah. But those guys just they just steal what those guys made. Did they? But, I mean, I'm not, okay. I'm not gonna say steal because they love it the way you do. But stop accusing. They've become they've become famous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Due to the work of, of retarded men from the '90s. Yeah. You know? Well, the Merrill Howard Kalen thing is so funny because it's like some guy that's like an asshole who's like, oh, man, this retarded guy is a cooking show. <laughs> I'm going to tape this and hang on to it forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then no one could have foreseen uh, the internet. Yeah. And yeah, they he, didn't... Uplo- he was selling it as a DVD. Whoa, really? Uh, yeah, and the family <laughs> sent a cease and desist. <laughs> oh, my God. And then it just went up for free on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, there's and then, no uh, stopping that. Yeah, he died a couple years ago. But you can tell. It was funny because I read the obituary. And you can tell it's like one of those like nice big families that kind of like the centerpiece is the retarded son. They all right, love, they right, all love right, him so right, much. Yeah. Right, right. And those families have so much like, I guess, it, but you know, it's like, oh, wow, families with like a retarded kid, they like they have so much more happiness. And it's like they probably would have been happy anyways. Yeah. yeah it's not a, like her dad family. was beating the wife people. and then she like, yeah. you know, put out. Uh, that guy and he's right. like, we and then they change. were like let's let's all just be rich and have <laughs> big dinners <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm hanging it up I'm not gonna work as a bagger anymore at the grocery store I'm a CEO now and I love you because our yeah. son can't do math <laughs> early 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 on in the YouTube days there was a guy who I guess he was in film school or something but he had a disabled brother and he would just like tape his family and their life revolving around their like disabled brother but never about his disability it was always like yeah you know, I mean, he was the star of the show. He was the star of the show, and it was like very endearing and heartwarming. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh-huh. and I, I remember like being like, "Wow, I guess maybe this is the future of entertainment." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like YouTube series That's about a retarded away. brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. a family so good they could withstand that. Imagine if any of our families had a retarded kid. I, you know, you know what family would be fixed by the seventh heaven family. Because he would stop molesting. Well, um, that was not yes. in the show. What? 
They were a pretty good family in the show. No, they were constantly having conflicts and fights. Jessica Biel was always sucking cock and being a slut. <laughs> one of my, I don't think my, she did. <laughs> the one guy of my biggest, was the my, son was gay with his haircut. A project I started I could never finish because it would require watching so much Seventh Heaven. But I was going to recut the trail or the intro to Seventh Heaven with the same music and everything, and you keep the you know credits. But then it's just all scenes where they're like screaming or fighting or crying. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. <laughs> And then it's like, it's only, it's like, ha ha, like that level of funny. Right. And I probably watched like an entire season and a half. <laughs> yeah. A fucking Seventh Heaven with like a log sheet next to me. Oh my God. That's so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. No, none of the Seventh Heaven kids were retarded? No. No. Was the, the youngest one retarded? He no, just, he, he had the She was a baby, cut. so she no. seemed stupid. No, yeah. no. The little blonde boy, he seemed retarded. Simon? Simon. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't retarded. Yeah, he just had a haircut. That could have gone either way. It was funny. That was a show I I feel like in my memory I watched a lot of it. And yeah. then And then upon rewatching it, all I had, I really remembered was seeing the pilot and then I just dispersed the pilot into the entirety of the series. Mm. I'm like, yeah, there was that whole story arc with him wanting a dog, and it's like, no, that's just just simply it's one like episode. the f- is one episode. I don't think I saw a single episode. I just remember Jessica Biel becoming hot in the middle of it, yeah. and me being like, damn. Well, they kicked her off the show because she she had, her tits got too big. Yeah, because she did Sports Illustrated, and Brenda uh, Hampton, the creator of the show. Wow, that sounds like a name that does not get any dick. Yeah, none. Brenda, Brenda Hampton. Yeah, some fucking. Christian. She's the opposite of Joanne Fabrics, dude. Yeah, Brenda looks like Joanne Fabrics, but she doesn't suck cock at she all. She does not suck dick. <laughs> Jake, to catch you up, we have a whole thing. Is that a running bit? Oh yeah, we Joanne have someone Fabrics in the studio. Sucks that Joanne Fabrics. I don't know if it's a it. running bit so much it's, as we a, said it. Nick a said theory. It one, Nick said it one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have but you yeah. looked it up? No. It's, you, you don't, don't want to. You don't want to put a face. It's too beautiful to look up. Yeah. Jay, Joan Fabric is a lady with you know with like short hair. She's kind of fat, but boy, does she, she only sucks dick once a year. But boy, is it awesome! <laughs> How about John does. Fabrics? And it's like it's oh, Philadelphia fi- fabric store. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they're like, uh, yeah, we ain't got any. Uh, uh, I see, I see. Uh, twill tape. Oh, uh, John faggot. <laughs> yeah. and John Fabrics, and that's the bit. I like that. Yeah, I yeah, thought John it was just fabric. gonna be a big fat gay guy. Oh, they love sucking cock like John Panette, but gay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> I love Fab. There was a show I remember. I used to go over to my friend's house in middle school, and on like T, he pointed out to me there was like I, I don't know what channel it was. Maybe it was like some early iteration of HGTV. There was a guy. There was a bald gay guy named like Christopher or something. Oh yes. And in like the bumper promos for his like you know how to where to put your couch <laughs> yeah, like whatever yeah, his fucking yeah, show yeah, was. Yeah. He was just uh, him running around with a ribbon. Hell yeah. <laughs> and my friend used to like laugh so hard. He's like, here comes that gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why they did it. Yeah. <laughs> they, they knew to what make 11 year olds laugh. <laughs> yeah. HGTV back then HG- knew what they were doing. They, they're not like homo yeah. forward or whatever. Homo gay TV. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's another one they could go by. What was it? Was that the guy? What's his name? Christopher or something? That's his name. Yeah. Right? Christopher. I remember that. <laughs> we didn't get any closer <laughs> mm-hmm. to that's the name. <laughs> yeah. We've confirmed that his name is Christopher. What mm-hmm. show was he on? Christopher I Lowell, I think his name was. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I remember. Because oh, you used my, to have sex with My him? dad used <laughs> to like, he used to like HGTV because he liked like home renovations, but he had to turn off when that guy was on TV. Because he got too hard. Because <laughs> yeah. he got horny. He's like, oh, I have to go into the bathroom <laughs> this is disgusting no. i'm gonna yeah. go throw no, up for three minutes no he's, <laughs> he's wearing a dress and he clearly has an erection <laughs> all right come on i ran out of clothes yeah. <laughs> i had to buy this dress because i ran out of clothes yeah. while i was at work this show is disgusting turn it off adam i'm you get out of the room i'll turn it off i'll turn it off with my penis <laughs> I'll get just i'll just turn it off i'll i'll i don't even want you to touch leave. the tv so i'll ejaculate onto the off button <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it off by But the only the- way I can get the proper force Is by getting a prostate Orgasm yeah. So I'm going to put a candle in my I'll ass I'll no, put that- all of the fruits and vegetables Into my ass <laughs> okay, And no. then beat off onto the off button To turn, <laughs> to off-, turn off this I'm so despicable dis- gay I'm so propaganda I'm so disgusted that I can't even <laughs> I have to masturbate 
<laughs> All right. Let's see. That's why he turned it off. Oh, Adam. you couldn't have enough force from a. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where it started. <laughs> you couldn't have. A, you couldn't have enough velocity. Yes, you could. In mm-hmm. a fucking bust to turn. It- oh, well, 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 yeah, we are. Laying in the place of the yeah, 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 yeah.